Somebody recently asked me what my favorite form of exercise is, and my favorite form of exercise, hands down, is walking. It's gentle on your entire system. It supports your frame. It supports your musculoskeletal system. It allows you to get outside of your home instead of working out indoors under fluorescent lighting around televisions. On gym equipment that many multiple people have already used, that to me is just kind of a strange environment. But that's besides the point. Walking allows you to lightly get your circulation up instead of it just like your heart pounding the whole time. I recently talked about in a recent video how excessive amounts of vigorous exercise can be detrimental. And walking is just gentle in comparison to weightlifting. I'm not saying weightlifting isn't good and that weightlifting doesn't enhance health because it can if it's done properly. But with all of the supplements people are taking, with all of the weight gainers and all of the mass marketed protein shakes and all of the bullshit, the absolute bullshit in the weightlifting community, you can take something healthy and turn it into something incredibly unhealthy. So again, I'm not saying that weightlifting is unhealthy. It can be very, very beneficial in the right dosages and in the, you know, if you do it responsibly. But I think a lot of people exercise for vain reasons, for vanity. They want to look good in tell or in t-shirts. Uh, they want to have big muscles to attract people. And to me, that's just silly. Exercise should be about enhancing your, not only your physical health, but your spiritual health. You can do certain uh, weightlifting exercises that help you increase your focus, that help you increase your willpower, but we'll talk about those in the near future. Yoga is another great exercise, but what's, what's focus on walking? Walking supports your musculoskeletal system. It allows you the opportunity to get outside of your house, to get outside of the fluorescent lighting and the, away from the television, something that many people don't do. You know, we spend one third of our life in bed sleeping and we spend a large majority of our life inside cooking meals, preparing meals, watching television. And aside from that, we spend a large majority of time working nine times out of 10 inside of a building, a store, wherever it is. Some people will get the luxury of working outside. That's why construction can be such a great job. Or what I used to do, I was a painter for a while. I would paint houses outside and whatnot and get some natural sunlight on my skin. Although I was working with toxic uh, stuff, it was still nice to be outside and uh, underneath the natural lighting instead of the artificial lighting. But um, walking, ladies and gentlemen, you can also load your iPod or your iPhone or your smartphone with lectures. That's what I like to do. I clean my skin with the witch hazel, the uh, CN Dickinson's. I think that's the name of the brand. I clean my skin in the morning with that so that when I'm under the sun, I get maximum solar exposure because most people's skin is like a dirty window right now. And light doesn't pass through dirty windows as efficiently as it would, as it does if it's clean. So you want to make sure to clean your skin. We have a lot of residues and gunk on the, our skin that we're not aware of. And I'll talk about that in the near future. And I'll show you guys exactly how I clean my skin because there's a few different tricks you can do alongside the witch hazel protocols, but I clean my skin. I load my phone with uh, lectures. I listen to a lot of like the uh, extreme health radio podcasts and a few other different like doctors and whatnot on YouTube and online. And I go for my walk and I look at the trees and I stop and I touch, I, I stop and I touch trees. I do some grounding along the way at certain spots. I'll take my shoes off and stand barefoot on the earth close my eyes and look up towards the sun and let some of the sunlight pass through my eyelids. I feel so much better when I go for a walk every day in comparison to if I don't. So to answer the question, what is my favorite form of exercise? It is currently walking. I'm not saying that it's not going to change in the future, but this has been my favorite form of exercise for quite some time. It's gentle. It works. It will help you lose weight if you do it consistently. And what really will help you ladies and gentlemen, um, to lose weight is if you walk and then you bike for a minimum of like two hours a week, get on a bicycle, load your uh, iPhone or whatever with uh, uplifting music, put your helmet on and go hit the trails and get your heart rate up a little bit. Just make sure that when you, um, let me just check something, ladies and gentlemen, I thought my phone went off. Make sure that if you're uh, doing vigorous exercise, that you replenish what you lose through your sweat, your electrolytes and your minerals. Make sure that you have a legit source of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Make sure that you're getting your micronutrients in. Make sure you're getting your minerals like selenium in and your fats, and you should be good. Ground yourself to the earth. What I like most about um, walking, ladies and gentlemen, is that it allows you to do so many things at once. 
So I can ground myself. I can do my sun therapy. I can do my mantras uh, that I'll, you know, repeat in my head or say out loud while I'm doing my walk. I'll do certain mudras while I walk. And I'm going to show you guys and talk about mudras, uh, not only on my YouTube channel coming up in the near future, but also on my Patreon page. I'm going to focus a lot of my energy on mudras next month over on my Patreon page, but I'll do bandhas as well, tongue yoga, all sorts of great stuff. And, uh, it's just nice to be around the trees, the greenery. I used to exercise indoors all the time and it's just nowhere near as uplifting and you don't get as much out of it as you would if you were in comparison to if you were outside. Now, some things like weightlifting, I mean, if you could have like an outdoor weightlifting setup, that would be pretty cool, but everything has its place. I'm not saying that indoor workouts aren't good because they are like, I'll do yoga inside Kundalini yoga. Um, People keep asking me what my favorite um, asana is in kun or in yoga, and that's going to be the Sarvagasana asana, or, or what most people refer to as uh, a shoulder stand in the West. And that's the particular yogic position that I held myself in in my early 20s when I first experienced Kundalini. It spontaneously awakened in the midst of me holding myself in a shoulder stand, also known as Sarvagasana. And you can check that out. You can go on Google and type in images and or shoulder stand images and you can find out how to do that there's also some great tutorials on stuff like that online but walking to summarize it gets your circulation up lightly um, in a very beneficial way it allows you to get outside and look at all the trees be around the birds and the insects and whatnot the sunlight you can do multiple things at once in a safe fashion like listening to music doing mudras, repeating mantras, all while being surrounded by nature and outside of your box. And that's a great thing. So many people spend so much time indoors and I would love to see you walk more. You may not like it at first, but the more you do it, the more you're going to love it. I absolutely love walking. I absolutely love walking because I'm doing so many different things at once. And I really love being efficient. I love getting multiple things done. And walking is, to me, it's not just like I'm walking around, I'm trying to lose weight, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. No, I'm multitasking, ladies and gentlemen. I am doing all sorts of stuff. I'm envisioning my future. I'm working on myself. I'm listening to lectures, repeating mantras, saying affirmations, doing prayers, stopping, grounding myself and doing yoga, doing, again, mudras. We'll talk more about it in the future, but until next time, peace be with you. I recommend walking for at least an hour a week as a bare minimum. Unless you have some type of joint issue or whatnot, I would say that that's a pretty damn good place to start. And what I, my current program that I love most is about an hour minimum of walking and about an hour to two of biking every week while at the same time making sure that your nutrition is dialed in because you want to make sure that exercise is actually beneficial because when you exercise, you're losing minerals, you're losing electrolytes, especially the vigorous forms of exercise. And if you're not replenishing those, you're basically just like a, a wet sponge. And the more you exercise, you're just squeezing the water out and dry sponges. You want to, you want to be the, in this instance, or in this case, the sponge is you and the water are your minerals and your nutritional reserves. And you want to keep that sponge full. Excessive exercise squeezes that sponge out. Replenish yourself with minerals, amino acids, fats, proteins, carbohydrates, and all the other essential micronutrients, and you'll be fine. Peace be with you all.